Good morning guys and girls and it's the 13th of June 2022. I must kind of think about that because I get it wrong so many times. <coughs> so 13th of June 2022, your sardine update. Now we've got some lovely, lovely weather on the south coast. Um, and if you're not in Natal, guys you don't know what you're missing when it comes to weather in the winter. We, this is the best place in South Africa to be. But enough of that, a lot of fishing action, and before I get into that, I want to thank Daiwa, who is uh, supporting our updates to you guys, as well as Jakita, Bait and Tackle, Jakita.co.za, and uh, Chint Alpha Omega, who's now got branches in Natal, as well as Port Elizabeth. Now guys, with the, from the fishing point of view, Okay, let's do the sardines first. Guys, there's no sardines yet. Nothing's been netted, spotted, and there's various reasons for that. Main reasons being water temperature, which has cooled down quite nicely since yesterday. I see there's a lot of um, crates and boats, sardine netters, running up and down to see if something might happen this morning. But up to now, nothing yet. There's other bait fish that's getting smacked by game fish and shad and yellowtail and the Garrick started showing their faces since yesterday. Uh, at Sandpits, Port Shepston and further up uh, towards uh, Sea Park side, there were some Garrick, some reports of Garrick. Then uh, shad all over the show, it's, it moves around a bit. Uh, okay, so all the regular shad spots switch on and then tomorrow it's off, the day after it's off and then on again. So there's been shad, especially I'm referring between Port Shepston and Tolumi. There's been quite nice big shad, even high up Scottboro to to a Mansum Toti, there's been report of shad coming out. Um, in fact, Toti site, there's been shad for a while. And um, today, again, I already had a lot of messages about the shad coming out on some of the regular spots. And um, so you can make your way to some of the spots if there's no shad, just move to the next one. And normally, here on the south coast, second day, no slow northeasterly winds here in the winter time if it's not too strong. You can go on the second day to some of the spots. The other well, other spots prefer a southwesterly or a southeasterly, a southerly wind. So yeah, that's one way to find them. And uh, I also want to, guys, we've got a membership that we launched some time back. Um, and I want to thank all the people that's joining it to, to support us. Now what that does, it allows us to make more content for you guys. So thank you very much for the, for the people that's supporting the membership. What we'll do is the next tier membership that's coming through will have exclusive videos on um, hacks and special tips and tricks and some of the secrets that uh, only the members will have so we'll make it worth your while for helping us we'll do our best to help you and put extra content on for that so thank you very much for that now back on the fishing side what are our prediction this week um, my personal prediction is absolutely my opinion and personal prediction is we might not see the sardines or netting just yet, um, I guess in the next week, a week from now, maybe this coming weekend, maybe this almost long weekend for some of the guys coming down to the south coast, I think might be a, a good guesstimate. However, <coughs> there's some other fishing that's happening for two days at Stabel. I've spent there yesterday, Caroline got a nice, uh, she fished again for the first time in a long time, uh, ladies and gents, and she got a nice little diamond which was awesome, but Saturday and Sunday there's a mixed bag of smaller fish. Um, there's a lot of spitter sharks, grey sharks, there was hammers caught, there were diamonds, a big diamond as well, about a 40-50 kilo diamond was caught, and uh, what am I missing, some blue rays. So a nice little mixed bag in that Stabel Pamula area, and then further down, like I said, the odd cobbies coming out here and there, if you target them and you go out, out of your way to get them and then the Garrick started showing their face. So it's really a fantastic time of the year. Weather-wise, fish-wise, anticipation for the sardine run, everything is just a fishy smell everywhere and it's awesome and the weather is supporting it. So guys, y'all, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification button so when we go live and when there's action and when there's something ha happening on the sardine side of things, we'll share it with you immediately. And uh, like I said, it's impossible to cover all the spots for the for the shad, but we'll tell you guys about it. But all the regular spots between Port Shepston, Mtualumi, and Scottborough up north, and even Port Edward, those southern ports, I don't I don't have reports in between 
uh, Port Edward and Port Shepstone, but also those spots will obviously be throwing some shade if it's throwing shade everywhere. So like I said, the right way to target shade is you go to the spot in the morning you choose to, and when you get in there's no shade, just drive on a kilometer, half a kilometer to the next spot where you know shade frequent, and you'll find them there. So guys, yes, tight lines and uh, be responsible, be good anglers, be ethical anglers, consider each other, consider our environment, leave the spots clean again. Gents, I can't understand it. Reputable anglers, classy anglers, uh, normally ethical anglers. I'll fish next to them the whole morning and when they leave, they leave a bunch of, not a horrible bunch, but just that little bit. Remember, if every angler leaves a handful of cables and tackle and pieces of line and a bit of plastic your little chocolate wrapper if uh, 50 oaks over a weekend do that can you imagine the amount of rubbish so please what is what does it take to pick up your little area i don't care if it's yours or not if you leave there and it's lying there it looks like yours but pick up that the bit of stuff around your area clean your little area and that way we can make a difference and give anglers a bit of a better reputation because currently it's got a bad reputation because a lot of anglers, not all of them, but a percentage of anglers can't clean and can't clean behind themselves. I feel sorry for, the, <laughs> for what their houses must look like uh, and I'm being personal there, sorry guys, but really get it right, let's clean our spots. Just that little section around us, if you see something lying around, pick it up. Always make sure you've got a, a checkers bag or something with you tie to your back so it doesn't blow away either but where you can put rubbish in and when you go out just put it in the dust but when you go off the beach thanks guys in advance for doing that and we thank you for supporting the channel remember to subscribe like this video and hit the bell notification button you'll be notified every time we upload a video